Good evening YouTube, it is the 30th of April, it is May tomorrow, can you believe that? Where the hell is this year going? God, loads of family birthdays in May as well. Um, it's Monday, so what we're looking at today is going to be a quick review of what I watched the weekend, which was disappointing, I'll tell you that straight away. Um, we're going to be looking at what's out next Monday, and also looking out, because it's the start of May tomorrow, we'll look out what's out in June as well, see what we're going to be get, getting excited about, in case you missed any of the good stuff. Um, what we'll do, we'll, do, we'll get the uh, what's coming out soon out of the way, then we'll do my pickups for today. And we'll end with my review, because uh, not very exciting, really. Um, so, first week of, uh, to get this right, next week, we're looking at, what, the 7th of May. There's not really much that I would get excited about. Now, I know one of these is already sold out. Um, it's the steel books of Watchmen, The Untouchables, and Forrest Gump are the only ones, in my opinion, of any merit because I mean we had Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle come out today didn't we? Um little pet peeve about that. When you release a still book, why the hell haven't you put it as 3D? When there is a 3D version available, why not make the still book 3D? I'm not paying twenty two ninety nine for a still book that hasn't got 3D in it. So dickheads there. So you got it every other way, you got a 4K, you got a 3D, you got a still book, you got it normal. Why not make the still book 3D? Stupid. So, ain't getting that brand new. I'll, I'll wait to, to hand the line to pick him up. Disappointed. Um, so, we're looking at three half decent still books. I did pre order Forest Gun, but I cancelled it because I figured I've got it. Not really an explosively amazing cover. I mean, you will see it on my Facebook page, but changed my mind. I've got bigger priorities. Um, so, left that. That's really next week. The only things that are even half excitable. There's a few arty ones out, but nothing that I would get excited about. Now, if we're looking into June, now we're talking quite a big month. There is some good stuff out of May, don't get me wrong. But with June, we look at, if you look at the 4th of June, you've got the first season of Iron Fist. That's the Marvel series. Uh, that's coming out as a steelbook and as blue, a normal Blu-ray as well. Uh, you got the Darkest Hour, which is the Gary Oldman Churchill one. Now that does look good. It is in 4K and it is a, as a normal Blu-ray as well. I will be picking them up. And just to bolster our British heritage and all that crap, Dan Busters is being re-released on the same day as well. And if you haven't seen that, that is a classic. It's one of my granddad's favourite ever films that was. Uh, the long-awaited 4K of Game of Thrones Season 1 is out, but I don't know how anyone's going to swallow a 50 quid pill for one series of this. It's, that's painful if you ask me. Uh, one thing is, I've seen them around. I think they're re-releasing all seven series of Game of Thrones in, with new artwork as well. Haven't seen them around much, but I have seen pictures. So if you're thinking, oh, I want to, yeah, the artwork is bloody good. I'll give it that. Real nice. But I don't know how many people haven't bought it already, really. So, I mean, I've got series one to four. So why would I buy five, six, and seven in the new artwork? It wouldn't match. Uh, there's a film out in the cinema right now, and it's on the Sky system uh, called The Titan, which has got that uh, Hemsworth. What is it, Hemsworth? I can't remember his name. The one who was the Terminator in Terminator Salvation. Didn't know who he was, the good guy. Um, and he's in Avatar. I can't remember his name. He's gone. But that's out on Blu-ray on the 4th of June. Now, to me, that's sneaking out a bit quick. So I have my reservations. What's the advert on YouTube? It actually looks quite good. But rushing it out to Blu-ray within six weeks of coming out of cinema. That worries me a bit. On the 11th of June, the whole world will stop, of course, because Black Panther is out. I have a 4K reserved and I have... The, I have the 4K steelbook and I have the 3D steelbook reserved for that one. I might get rid of the 4K on that one. 3D steelbook are doing me on that, but the artwork is amazing. That's available 4K, 4K steelbook, steelbook 3D, 3D, and Blu ray. Whoa. So it's looking amazing. I mean, we've taken what, 1.4 billion? But as I'm sat here, what the hell has Infinity War done? Three and a half days of release, and it took 630 million worldwide. Holy shit. It's a world record, guys. Uh, also out 
Bel Benicio del Toro, or whatever his name is, uh, Shape of Water, won quite a few awards. That's coming out as a 4K and 4K steelbook, Blu-ray, and a steel normal steelbook as well. I do like the premise of that one. Um, don't know if I'll buy it in use. Not quite what I would normally watch. But we're getting there. I've got one series of suits. I will get around to the rest. But Series 7 has been released on Blu-ray. And a full collection package as well. So if you're into that kind of thing. Come the 18th of June. We're looking at the China Syndrome. That's a classic Michael Douglas film. If you haven't seen it. Quite a tense one. Worth, worth, worth a punt I reckon. Phantom Thread. The final film of Daniel Day-Lewis. Now. I'll tell you straight, the likelihood of me buying that is about as likely as me is wearing a pant, bra and panties and looking good in it, you know what I mean? <clears throat> nah, ain't gonna happen. Uh, Fifty Shades Freed, yeah, the third one's out, I've got the first two, so I'll have to get it at some point, but I'm damned if I'm buying that new, but it is in 4K and, and Blu-ray as well. Then we're going on to near the end of the month. It dries up a bit. The 25th. The only film of any merit, in my opinion, is I, Tonya. The Tonya Harding one. Um, that's had some quite good reviews. So I will be looking at that. But again, probably not one I'd buy brand new. Um, I'll probably supposed to spend the whole month watching Black Panther 63 times. But that's just me. And I am planning on going to see uh, Infinity War. I just don't know whether it will be this week or next week. Because I want to I wanna be relaxed when I'm watching it. I really do. Um... I'll tell you what, let's do the review next, because th that's what's coming out, obviously, next week and what's in June. But there is some better stuff out later in May, so next Monday you'll see some better titles coming around as well. Now, um, I watched this film because my stepson said, oh, it's good, I saw it in the cinema. Now, I mean, horror is my weakest genre. Doesn't mean I'm, I'm not a fan of horror, I really am. But I watched Ouija. the most generic piece of shit in, I've ever seen in my life. I mean, the story jumps in exactly how you'd expect it to. There is no twist, in my opinion. It's the same old wrinkly mother, same old little girl. But the only twist in it is that it's the girl that's the evil one, not the mother. I mean, when you First thing you think, it's the mother because she sews a girl's mouth shut. Um, the acting is so cardboard in this. I'm literally at the point where I'll go, fuck it, why would I even keep it? But I bought the sequel as well, which is kind of a prequel, Origin of Evil. So I'm going to give the second one a chance. If the second one's better, I will keep that. If not, I honestly don't think it's worth keeping in my collection, either of them, if the other one's crap as well. But disappointed is, is an understatement about as generic a piece of shit as it can get, in my opinion. Tell me if your opinion differs. But I was extremely disappointed. I would give that 2 out of 10 at max. And I'm being generous there. I really am. Really, really cookie cutter crap. That simple. But let's smile again. Because I do have more films. Now. I, I Even I'll admit. What my pickups for this week. Well, I mean, so far this week. I mean, just today. I do have a couple of bits coming in the post still. But. A couple of these are, are serious just fillers, you know. I'll give you for example. I mean, I do like the Stig. This is the Stig. Ben Collins. Stunt driver. I've seen this around, but for 50p, this is what I got it for. I'll give it a chance. Um, Obviously, Top Gear's gone down the wayside. When it, it hasn't got the original people in, so I think Matt LeBlanc sucks, sucks in it, you know. So, I'll give it a chance. It's probably something I'll watch once, but that's about it. Next one, I've eyed this up for quite a while. Me and my other half, we, when we first uh, got back together, because you know we mucked around for a while, blah blah blah. Um, it was back in we we started going out, and when we were really getting serious again, it was during the World Cup for for rugby. And I always remember that we had this really nice date, and we were walking past just as England were winning and this pub erupted and we got dragged in, it was brilliant. Um so I got the building Jerusalem. Even to see some of the highlights of what happened, find out what their thoughts on that process is in of interest to me. So I was glad to get that. Fifty P again. 
Now I could have picked up both of these in a music magpie sale, but it would have been a pound a piece. So I'm glad I waited and you know I discovered them, so I'm happy with that. The next one is a bloody classic in my opinion. I really I still can't believe I've picked it up. Princess Bride Special Edition. Love the artwork on the front there. I mean, I can't wait to get this in. I'll probably watch this this weekend actually. Because to me, this is a classic. Um, just really glad to have that in my collection, actually. This one, I'm expecting to be tongue, quite tongue in cheek and maybe a bit. Ooh, you remember Big Game with uh, Samuel L. Jackson? You know, big explosions, president lost in the forest. Ooh, that was a tough one to watch because it, 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 it was really generic, you know. Really, ooh, yeah, you just wanted your paycheck on that one, didn't you, Samuel? I'm getting the same feeling about this, but I really like these two guys. So I got the Hitman's Bodyguard. Let me know if you've seen it already and think it's a good film because I want some encouragement to watch it. But I'm glad I've got hold of it because I really wanted it. And I love Ryan Reynolds. I do already have the next one. Uh, obviously, it just as a normal Blu-ray, but I enjoyed this. So I got Hercules in 3D this time. Probably going to watch that again to see how the effects weigh up. Hopefully quite well. Please don't judge me on the next one. My daughter wanted me to get this. Trolls. Yeah, about as sickly as they come, that one. Oh, got it. This next one. I like my northern gritty thrillers. This is a bit more estate, more northern-y, Irish-y. The Arbor. I've seen it hanging around the shop for ages. And I was thinking, is it worth £1.50? Ooh. So I thought sod it in the end and just picked it up. I mean, there's some good reviews on it as well. So that's a Sunday afternoon one. You know, you know people who've seen my collection, you know you know what I'm like. I like to have the original and I like to have it steelbook as well. I already have the Natural Born Killer steelbook. So for £2, I, I picked up normal as well. It's just the way I am. I like having both. It is a sickness, I do know. But mind you, if I get skin, what I then do is sell them off and keep the steelbook. So it's just one way to be, really. Got the first two in 3D, but I haven't found the... F I'm not even sure if the third one's available in 3D. I'll have to have a look around. But I've got Smurfs the Lost Village as well. So that's the Trilogy people. Got all of those now. This one. I love the original. But I was knackered watching it. There's so much going on on screen all the time. The second one made me think, oh, I'll hang back on this one. And I'm glad I waited because I haven't seen it yet, but I had no way I was going to ever pay full price for it. But I've got the Lego Batman movie now. So I'm hoping it's going to be good. I love the Batman character. And another gritty one to end all this. Uh, it's got Vinnie Jones and Val Kilmer in it and Christopher Walken. Kill the Irishman. I haven't seen it, but I love uh, Christopher Walken. So, you know. He just needs to stare at you and you look like a hard ass. So, brilliant. I'm glad I've picked that one up as well. So, that's it for today. So, we've done what's coming out next week, what's coming out next month. My pickups and my review. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I've done, I'm not even sure I stared at the camera too much. So, sorry if I've just been staring down here. Um, it's bloody cold where I am again. So, I hope it's a bit warmer where you are. Tomorrow is going to be my top ten again. We'll see what we're going to be doing with that. Because... Um, Want to make it a nice, interesting one tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a couple of pickups in the post as well, so I'll hopefully show you those as well. Um, the steel, not steel, but the slipcover giveaway is going quite well. We've had quite a few go. Um, if you check my Facebook page, you will see what's gone so far on the on the listings. And also, if you actually go to the video where I show you my slipcovers, in the comments section, there's also a list of what's gone as well. So you, you're not second guessing when you're choosing them but again all i ask people to do is cover the postage which is what people have been doing and i very much appreciate that i just want them to have good homes i feel bad if i just bin them because i simply hate them i don't want them myself but i know people collect them and i want to make sure people get them so please have a look through the listings and see if there's any more you want and i'll you know contact me on facebook and we'll get it sorted enjoy the rest of your evening guys as a play it's always a pleasure talking to you Enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh, one thing. Down to movie, uh, Rick on uh, from America. Watch your video this evening. Thank you for mentioning me again. 
I want to make sure that I do send you something because I know I sent you the Color of Money still book and then saw that my mate had done it as well. So yeah, I've left that one to Cinema Synthesis, but I'm still going to be sending you something else. So when you get a minute, get on Facebook um, Messenger and let me know a couple of things you're looking for maybe and I'll see how I can help you out again, all right? So contact me. It's a little personal message there, people. Enjoy the rest of the evening.